Okay, here we go. Hello everybody, or anybody. My name is Wayne, and I uh, really don't know what I'm doing. I will learn as I go. I uh, bought budget equipment to get started, uh, simply because I've never owned a GoPro, I've never owned an action camera, and I didn't want to invest a ton of money to find out maybe this isn't for me. But I, I bought some decent stuff. Um, this is being video recorded on a DJI Osmo Action. So that's DJI's action camera that came out in 2019 that could compete with uh, the Hero 7, I believe, at the time. And uh, the reviews on it are still really good. Um, of course, the, the, Hero, the GoPro Hero 8, 9, and 10 all have more features than this camera for sure because they're all newer um, so I decided to go for it because when this camera came out it was uh, $399 I believe and recently I just picked it up for $199 brand new and I think I know why it's that low DJI is about to come out with the Action 2 this month this is October of 2021 uh, today's date is October 14, 2021. So I'm going to go for a bit of a ride. I'm going to ride through my uh, hometown here, Lewiston, New York. My current hometown. Uh, a little quick brief history about myself. I am dual citizen. Born and raised in the Toronto, Canada area. Relocated to the U.S. through my employer in 2001, so I've been here 20 years. And uh, four years ago, finally got my citizenship. Uh, the first seven years, or almost seven, were simply on a work visa. And then uh, became a permanent resident, and finally went, out, went for and received my citizenship, which I'm very proud, proud to have. I am riding a 2020 Can-Am Spider RT Limited, and uh, I love it, absolutely love it. It's made in Canada, in Quebec, Canada, and so it's a Can-Am, and I'm a human Can-Am, I'm a Canadian American. So that's, that's it for now about me. We're about to head into town, the town of Lewiston, New York. And after that, we'll take a ride along the uh, River Road down to Fort Niagara. And I'm kind of watching this video on my phone, and it's looking pretty bumpy. I, I hope the stabilization does work. We'll find out. I've never edited video before. That'll be a bit, pretty big learning curve, too. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I do have software relatively inexpensive. I picked up Corel Video Suite. It came uh, with some additional graphics software, uh, but it was the price. And again, if I'm going to start with something, I'm not going to invest a ton of money. It's not a annual uh, subscription. So we're about to head down the hill that'll take us down to the Niagara River, which is the border between uh, Canada and the United States. And yeah, yes, I'm originally from Canada, as I said, and I have not been across the border to visit my family in, oh, let's see, 20 months. It's the last time I went up, February 2020, was when I last went up for a visit. I just had dinner with my brother-in-law and his wife. So that's the river you see ahead of us there. See it? And right across the river, that is the Commonwealth Nation of Canada. My home country that I can see and not visit, but I'm about to go and visit. They have recently opened it for uh, uh, U.S. residents to cross into Canada, and, they're, and there's, they're now having plans by November sometime to have the Canadians allowed to come down here. So the ride we're going to take runs right along that river, right down to Fort Niagara. 
which is on Lake Ontario. So the river ends at Lake Ontario and empties into Lake Ontario, and that's where we, we will be heading. It's one of my favorite local rides, especially in the evening, in the summer. Uh, to be able to see the sunset over Lake Ontario, the western end of Lake Ontario, is beautiful. And it's, it's only about a 10 minute ride. So if I don't feel like going for a long ride, but I want a nice leisurely scenic ride, this is, this is the one I take. So we are now on River Road. There'll be uh, portions of it where, we'll, where the river will be visible on the left. on with me and enjoy the ride. A little bit of the inspiration as to why I'm doing this. The, the first reason is I do want to start capturing uh, the places I travel to, visit and see. Uh, I don't know if I will end up posting any of it anywhere on YouTube. I, I mean, I have an account, so I have a channel. I don't use it for, for any reason other than to uh, to watch videos, uh, particularly that are uh, spider-related, ride-related, and, and there's a, quite a community of people out there that that I've met some of them, and they're, they're just wonderful, and uh, it's a great way to meet people and learn things and, and learn about places to see that I would have never thought to have seen. Um, a few of the channels that, that have inspired me to do this, uh, we've got Coach Bob Free and his wife uh, Coach Vic, Coach Vicky, down in Tallahassee, Florida. We have uh, John and Miriam Asphalt Odyssey, and uh, they ride uh, a spider and travel extensively. Uh, as does Coach Bob and Coach Vic, they travel very extensively and often. And uh, this past year, I, I made some really nice friends from Pennsylvania, uh, husband and wife. They each have their own YouTube channels, Purple on 3. Her name is Jody. She rides a uh, 2018 Spider F3 Limited. And her husband, Tom, or the YouTube channel, PSP Tommy G. He rides a 2018 Harley, and I'm not positive of the uh, particular model. I apologize for that if I ever publish this video that I, I don't know the particular model. I've never owned a Harley. I, I like them. I just never like the price, the premium price. Leaves are starting to change, so the rides will get more colorful and prettier until all the leaves disappear and then there'll be a more open view of the river. As long as it's not snowing, I don't mind riding in the much cooler weather. Not below freezing so much, but anything 40s and up I will certainly ride in. 30s maybe, but 40s and up would be my preference. Uh, this is where the Niagara River ends, uh, up ahead here, at the uh, far end of Youngstown, and empties into Lake Ontario. And on the U.S. side, they have a uh, state park, Fort Niagara State Park, and part of that park is the old Fort Niagara, which back in the uh, 1800s, for sure, was a, uh, a fort the Americans had to protect their border. You might say from the Canadians, but Canada had not yet uh, become a country. They were still part of the British Confederation uh, Commonwealth. Canada became its own country or became independent, uh, somewhat independent, having their own uh, well, their constitution came later, but 1867 is when they be, became officially became a, uh, a country. Canada is still part of the Commonwealth. 
they are pretty much completely independent. They have their own constitution, which they really did not finalize until the 1980s. Under uh, then Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, the current Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau's father. We are coming up to the uh, north entrance of the Fort Niagara State Park. This time of year, the boobs aren't manned, so it's uh, free entry. It's $8 per vehicle during uh, the season May through uh, Labor Day for sure. which I avoided those fees and came here often simply by getting the New York State Empire Pass, which paid for itself very quickly. Aha! The U.S. Border Customs Police are here. Making sure none of those rascal Canadians are sneaking into the country. <laughs> and to be quite honest, um, most Canadians uh, feel that, the, uh, that that's not necessary. They love their country up there. I love both countries. I'm grateful for the U.S. simply because uh, this is like our big brother, uh, our protector. Canada is, is, is known as a friendly country pretty much everywhere around the world. They really have no enemies remain fairly neutral uh, they they pretty much stay out of the uh, political conflicts they will assist with the United Nations and the United States whenever needed and asked but they, they uh, are not known for voicing their displeasure at all against any nation in the world We're going to take a ride around here. This is the uh, north entrance. Did I say that? The other, the other entrance was the south entrance. This is the north entrance to the park. And the Lake Ontario is to my right. We'll just pull up into this parking lot and have a quick peek at the lake. It looks like it's hazy. We won't be able to quite see the other side. At this end of the lake, it's not at its widest. It's about 32 miles wide here. And on a clear day, you can clearly see the skyscraper uh, skyline of Toronto. But not today, it looks like it's very hazy. Yeah, you can't see the other side. But it's uh, in the evening, and to my left is where, is where the sun sets. It can be beautiful. Beautiful. Take a bit of a break here. Enjoy the view. I shall be back shortly. <laughs> 